Penis, penis. It's a good mic check, that. Isn't it? Hello, all. Welcome to YouTube video number. I don't know. There has been a lot now. Um, too many to count. I think we're maybe like six or seven. Last one was the show day video, which I hope you all enjoyed. That was that was a good one. It's been a while since we've done just a normal standard video of me in Scotland training or doing something. It's been a while. Welcome all back to the channel, just back to normal videos themselves. Today we have an exciting one. We're headed up to Future Fitness. On the way, we are stopping to give the giveaway winner all of his prizes, so he stays on the way. So we're going to go give him that. We have got. 1.2 kilograms of CMP Rainbow Cookie Whey. We have 1.8 kilograms of CMP Blue Bears ISO. Um, so it's like a, a loaded ISO. It's a, it's a, what do you call it? A collagen protein powder. So it's like a kind of clear whey type thing. We've got EAs, so the Cherry Cola EAs. We have a CMP bag just for the gym itself. And we also have 12 chocolate flapjacks, protein flapjacks. So 150 pounds worth of CMP supplements. Mark who is one of you lucky boy uh, messaged him and he woke up and he was just like no way so very exciting but we will drop that off and then I'm headed to Future Fitness for Duncan's photo shoot so first photo shoot for one of my clients which will be extremely exciting we've been working together for 10 weeks now we initially just started a, a kind of tidy up phase just to get him into a better position for a gaining phase itself get on as much tissue as possible and possibly look to do like a photo shoot down the line in the future and possibly compete and he started to look good and like that Fuck it, let's do it. We've got Evan here, obviously the beautiful man filming this himself. Um, he is going to be doing the actual photo shoot, so all the photos will get some cool photos. Obviously, he'll be training in the future. The main focus will be when Duncan does the photo shoot. So he'll be joining us when I do my arm work. So he'll be coming in just to pump up today. I've been looking after him. He's been messaging me some fasted photos in the morning. He's looking very, very good. Yeah, very, very exciting. First photo shoot client, and the photos are going to be wicked. So I'm very much looking forward to it. Good session, good productive day ahead. And yeah, hope you all enjoy. I'll see you soon. I think. Better not be beeping at me. I'm a giant killer. I think he's beeping it. You won't be able to hear it. My black box. But a Mark 6 Golf GTI. I don't think anyone on YouTube knows this because it's just on Instagram that I put it up. But I got this about three, four weeks ago. Very nice car. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, Evan's first time as well in the car. Apologise that we're not going to get any. Ooh, that's, that's horny. That's so horny. Maybe next time. So we're not going to go over too much for the session today, like not all the technicalities and everything as I was saying before, like usually I'd take you through everything, but literally the last video was me doing this training session and explaining it all. So First of all, just starting with a couple of arrays to get the shoulder joint nice and warm to get ready to put under some load. I'm going to try out the plate loaded um, Cybex press today because my pec is feeling a little bit better. Hopefully that can go well, but do some sets of this and then I'll catch you there. in this you ask so this is my pump pre-workout drink um it's pre-workout but realistically i have it like at the start of the session so that it doesn't just get run through because i train for quite a while it's just i put in about 600 ml of water so fill up as much as possible hundreds of ice in there so it stays nice and cold i get 15 grams of cnp full pump so it's a pump product which is going to provide more blood into the muscles help transport nutrients in general and then i've also got five grams of pink himalayan salt to make sure that my sodium intake can actually help me like take up all that water and it doesn't just flush straight through me so it's going to get a better pump better blood flow and in general just feel juicier so if you have caffeine next to the training window like before you train if you can train early enough put a white monster in instead of the water and get the full pump in and oh my god it's unbelievable but i've already had me i couldn't resist from drinking my monster on its own so just water for me today but yeah i've got 
30 grams of silic dextrin carbs, so it's literally just a carb powder, which is going to help replenish my glycogen stores during training. So it's going to drip in carbohydrates and it's just going to keep me fueled throughout the session so that my performance doesn't drop off towards the latter end. So I put creatine in this and this. I have about seven grams between them in total and I don't take creatine on rest days, so that pretty much makes up for the times that I don't have it on rest days because I always forget to take it in the morning. So I just put it in this when I kind of know I need to when I'm training. So yeah, that's it. That was pretty heavy. I put a plate, a 10 and a 5 on, thinking I'd be sound, but obviously I can't put like too much force through my pick. Still thought it's only, it's literally under two plates, it'd be fine. Got it for six reps and it was pretty brutal, so yeah, that was a humbling experience because I'm not used to pressing on like a new machine and not really be able to get after it. So dropping down to 20 and just a 5, get that again for double digits, just a nice continuous back off set, get some blood pumping and not put it under too much stress, but nice bit of kit in gym, it felt pretty good, so have this. And then we'll go on to some back work. A wee single arm pull down, an upper back row, then a wee single arm lat row, and then some arms, and then some Duncan will be joining us to start pumping up. So he should be on the way just now. He's had his pre meal, which is the same as my pre stage meal, which was the six pancakes, the jam, some almonds, then whey paste. A nice, easily digestible, enjoyable meal that's going to sit nicely and get him kind of carved up and ready for the pump up. But yeah, going to be exciting. Need blast through it because he's going to be here soon. It diverges, it comes out the way instead of staying down the way. Oh, oh, is that on camera that question? Wow, Evan, you're a genius. This machine diverges, meaning it comes out the way as you come down. The problem with that is you want to keep your elbow and your upper arm close to your body, tucked in to your torso when you're doing a lap bias pull down. So if this comes out, it takes away from that. The cables are being used right now, so I can't do my usual single arm lap pull down. So I thought, why not experiment? But it's fucking diverging, so I can't do it. So we need to try to find another variant. Getting on, it's a good machine, sorry. Fucking rips your lats apart that, doesn't it? It's nice. I'll full stack it. I don't want it. There's absolutely no chance of full stack it, but I'm just gonna say that. Oh, maybe not. We'll see. You know what? It could be on. Oh no. Look, show them how far down it is, right? I was like, oh, brilliant. But the full stack's double that weight. <laughs> There's no chance I moved up. Absolutely no chance on this earth. See, that's a good learning point. I don't know what weight I'm going to do on this exercise. So I'm not just blindly going into it and taking a random weight and just going, oh yeah, that's gonna be my working set weight. Actually use your warm ups to gauge what your working set weight is going to be. Don't just go in randomly, kind of blindly and not know what you're doing. Make sure that you gauge, you assess. If something feels really heavy, then don't take the weight that you think you're going to take. So if you go to take 200 pounds, you do 160 pounds, it's very heavy in the warm up. Don't stay at the 200 pounds. Like pull back down or stay at 160 like this. Or we'll see how it goes. Thank you. So I'll take that from my top set, so seven to nine. Upper back row, so there can be a little bit more yeah balloons, as I like to call it. We're not trying to keep it like nice and slow, controlled, contracted like you would for like a lap bias row where you're really trying to get the internal view. Trying to load this up quite heavily and just focus on scapular movement. So moving your scapula forwards and back, getting as much movement through that because that's what's going to lengthen and shorten your upper back musculature. I've said that probably about 3,000 times in my life, but get it into your brain because a lot of people still don't do it. So yeah, make sure that you're focusing on scapula and movement, boy. Go. 
now. Duncan has arrived. The man has arrived, the man of the hour, pretty much. Getting some blood around all the muscles, upper body wise. Not putting any tension or load through the legs because that's going to make them a lot more inflamed and we don't want that, that's going to take away from the detail of them. So just some very high rep, fast tempo, blood pumping with lateral raises, bicep curls, tricep extensions, some cable ab crunches to get that midsection firing. He's been keeping himself somewhat hydrated throughout the day because you need to make sure that you're still getting enough water in to get a pump but not drinking too much to where you're going to have a kind of blurry midsection and hold on to too much water. So you can see him doing his push-ups right now. Rose, Rose Saitama, but is that his name for One Punch Man? Doing his fucking push-ups but I'm going to get some sick photos. I've got my little blue sparkly thong with me since you're all going to love that too. Be some exclusive content but yeah, looking forward to it. You don't care, do you? Hello all. So that is the photo shoot, like kind of, not like a pure professional, like oh we've got umbrellas and stuff everywhere, just like a cool photo shoot. Got some photos together, got some cool ass photos of Duncan, he's looking tremendous. Really, really happy with the look that we've brought. We've done some peaking protocols which we'll go over soon. But Duncan, introduce yourself. I'm Duncan. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, came with Josh, we've been working together for about 11 weeks now. And it's been, uh, it's been pretty smooth sailing, yeah. No, no hiccups, a few few bumps, but that's uh, that's part of the road, isn't it? Yeah, diet and you're never going to feel brilliant, especially getting this lean. Bro has a fucking roadmap across his chest. And maybe like yeah. starting to feel a little bit drained, but again, that's part of the process. If you do want to get lean, you are going to feel shit. You need to kind of accept that. Food has been low, expenditure has been relatively high, but we've made sure to manage fatigue through that. But tomorrow, we are, we're going for, what, what are we going for? We're going for our five guys, and it's going to be... Uh, Fucking horny, that's yeah, right. exactly, that is exactly how we described it, I, I would agree. Um, I'm going to get a cheeseburger with chips, large chips, then I'm also going to get a Krispy Kreme raspberry filled donut, what are you thinking? You I'm getting? thinking I'm dabbing up one of those milkshakes, but I've been uh, dreaming about it. Yeah, it's been like, I've been listening to Taylor Swift and think I'm going to drink some milkshakes. Today. I respect that, I respect that. I wish I could have a milkshake, but I can't, but yeah, let's get a wee, a wee official. Brilliant, it's been good. And I'm gonna talk through my prep now and I'll also do some, some stuff about actually the peaking protocol itself. I know this camera is about to die, so we might have to charge it in the, in the car, whatever it may be, or we might just need to blast through it. But yeah, that is that. Now, the process of the kind of peaking protocol for Duncan, I'm just gonna run through it quickly. So obviously we pulled off the fat that we needed to to get lean first of all, and then we went into this peaking protocol to kind of bring his best look to this day here. So it's Saturday today, on Thursday, we had a high day where we were looking to load up on intracellular fluids. So pretty much fill out as much as possible. Now, how we done that is having a high day of food, so more carbohydrates. We also had five grams of creatine in each meal to help kind of funnel a lot more water into the muscles themselves. And then we also had no cardio and and reduce steps for that day because we want to bring expenditure down so that we're not too fatigued and inflamed. We want to kind of bring a little bit more life and, and drop off that fatigue from the physique. So Thursday was our high day, so a little bit heavier that morning, I believe, yes, when you woke up on the Friday because we're just a lot fuller, looking a lot bigger, more vascular, more glycogen through the muscles due to the more carbohydrates. Friday, yesterday, that was when we were expelling the extracellular fluids that came with that because obviously he was just consuming more, so he's going to be holding more water outside of the muscle tissue. So the way to take that off is to try and promote diuresis pretty much, which is peeing more. So what we done on that day was a gram of vitamin C with each meal. So that's a kind of natural diuretic. It's going to make you pee a little bit more. And so is caffeine. So we had double the amount of caffeine that you would usually have, which is a coffee maybe. But before that, we kind of had like a little caffeine break, which worked out nicely anyway. So we had four shots of coffee twice. And then we had uh, a bit of monster into the pre-workout drink that he had as well. Friday's session was upper to like a, a little pump, which it would usually be lower, but again, we don't want to put too much fatigue and stress through the legs. So upper session, nice little pump up as we kind of mock one just to see how we would look and, and the changes with the physique. And it was brilliant, went well. With that, we also, drank a lot of water early on the day, so eight liters before 5 p.m. and then one liter after for the rest of the day. Now that's just gonna promote him 
peeing like a motherfucker throughout the rest of the day. There must have been, what, 15, 20 peas that day. Yeah, you pee a lot, but it means that next morning you wake up a lot drier. Now, when he did go to bed on the Friday night, so last night, we done a kind of head down tilt, so his feet were raised up a little bit more onto the bed. Now, the reason behind that, if you think when you go on a plane and you've got that kind of pressure on you, you end up holding a lot more water weight. When you when you get off, you're a lot heavier. You're like, sometimes a couple kg heavier. So this is like the opposite of that. We're trying to take like stress and weight off the body. Can make you like weightless a little bit and it makes you you drop off that extracellular fluid and you wake up a little bit lighter so that's what we've done and then on shoot day it's a kind of similar process pretty much very very similar process to what i done in my show day but today we were just assessing on the day as he woke up so sent over some fasted photos and update on how he was feeling biggest thing today was making sure that he was still hydrated enough to get a good pump but not being too hydrated and holding on to too much water that would be blurry through his midsection etc so making sure that it's maybe 250 to 500 ml of liter of liters 250 to 500 ml of water each hour throughout the day to make sure that we keep hydrated and the, the way that we kind of tell that is just by the color of his urine so if it's very dark we can tell right you're dehydrated you need to drink more water because obviously we need to promote blood flow and everything when he comes to pump up also having his pre-workout shaker so that had water how many mils did you have in that 300 400 mils of water 15 grams of full pump we had salt in there and we had some creatine in there as well to make sure again that he just gets the best opportunity to get blood flow nutrients oxygen around the muscles to get the best pump possible now his first meal did you have you had the first meal didn't you before yeah. the pre-meal first meal was just pro fat so that's just protein and fat keeping like any kind of digestive stress away just getting that muscle protein synthesis to spike and then pre-workout meal was my pre-stage meal it's fucking phenomenal isn't it it was brilliant six pack of pancakes with some jam, some cashews, and then some protein paste as well. So that was 35 grams of protein, 100 grams of carbs, and 25 grams of fat, or 25, I believe. So yeah, that was a pre-workout meal. Came in, got pumped up, so done some lateral raises, bicep curls, tricep extensions, cable lab crunches, push-ups, lat pullovers, just getting a nice full body pump keeping tension away from the legs as much as possible. So he's been chilling out today. There's not been as much walking or the littlest amount of walking possible because he has to actually walk to the gym, get the train to the gym. But yeah, um, very, very well, went very successful. I'm, I'm happy with how we looked. And in general, it's been a great experience. So first photo shoot, boxed off, and the next one will be taking a client to stage. Hopefully in, in the future, that's, there's nothing planned for that yet, but that will be a good thing to do. But yeah, that is that. Obviously a lot has happened since the last like, actual training video. I went and competed in the WMBF Camberley, took the teens title and then went over to take the, on to take the overall title, sorry. So a successful warm up show. That was me sitting around like 75, 80% in terms of condition and actually being complete which is very exciting because it means now that I'm going to go into these shows like a lot more, a lot leaner and, and sharper and fuller. It's going to be a lot better. It's going to be a better look. And the fact that I took that show builds quite a lot of confidence. Like I'm not like arrogant and I'm not like overly confident thinking oh, I'm going to I'm going to win this, but like I'm quite confident in myself that I'm going to do good. A lot of the nerves and the anxiety going to stage has been dropped off and, and I'm really excited to go into the next shows. So my next show is in two weeks time. So that's the BNBF Northern August 26th. Four more shows after that. So so my final one is in 10 weeks time, October 22nd. But right now we're pretty much ready. Like, as you can see, like definitely getting a lot leaner. I lost my pump a little bit, but I got my check in earlier on today and I've had quite a lot of fatigue through my lower body and it's, it's not performance isn't dropping off, but I can feel them getting really, really draggy and really heavy and not feeling brilliant. So we have reduced posing on rest days. So I usually do about 20 minutes of like non-stop posing with no breaks between it. But it means when I go into my leg session the day after, I do feel quite fatigued. So we're pulling that down and just adding that posing onto the end of the leg sessions and reducing it a little bit. We'll be digging for this show and then leading into the next show probably. And then from then filling up and getting sharper and fuller like just by dropping off fatigue on my body itself. So yeah, in a really, really, really good spot right now. Everything's pretty much smooth sailing. Had a couple food decreases, but it's nothing too like bad. Like I'm still in a really good position. Still 325 grams of carbs on training days, which comes to like 2,500 calories. Then on non-training day, I think I'm one 1990 calories and, and it's spot on like I'm, I'm not feeling too bad on rest days to be fair like I do feel more draggy but that kind of comes with prepping like the fact that I don't feel absolutely like in the bin right now is good but I'm starting to feel a little bit more fatigued again just comes with it so I need to kind of accept it and just make sure I keep cracking on keep myself busy but I think that is everything in terms of targets wise again I pretty much just went through them Cardio is 25 minutes per day at the moment. Again, obviously, apart from leg days, now that that's been introduced, everything's good. Finn's really happy with the position that we're in and send on the next show. It's gonna be exciting. Let's have it. Like and subscribe. Have a good morning, day, night, whenever you're watching this, and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye, all.